Wednesday, fam. If you're unsure of what you just saw, it was a clip from Black Friday and all of that madness. You know, the one shopping spree that has somehow actually turned into a holiday in which all of the Karens gather in the same place to be assholes at the same time. Black Friday has never made sense to me. People not sleeping, not eating, they're harming themselves, one another, spending hundreds of dollars on things that in reality have been available to them all year long. However, brainstorming for education, it did help me to come to an analogy. And tell me if you think I'm wrong. But I think that Black Friday looks a hell of a lot like healthcare. Instead of patients investing in all of the areas of health to get to that optimal place of thriving, instead working each day, we're working against the facade and the concept that health comes from a one-stop shop, one change, a pill, a surgery, cut it off. A permanent diagnosis. Hell, a pill for a pill. We all know that this is bullshit. This is not where health comes from. We have a responsibility every single day, not just to get people adjusted, but to inform them on what health truly is. They've invited us into their lives. And who the hell are we to take advantage of that? You have a responsibility to share with them that health is an infinite game, an infinite game that we've talked about endless times. And this next clip is going to help to motivate you to invite them to this game with us because we're all warriors going towards the very best version of ourselves. I don't know about you, but I want my patients to be a herd of fucking buffalo charging every storm that they face instead of a herd of psychopaths relying on sick care. Have a kick-ass Wednesday, guys. What separates me from a lot of people is they go into and a daunting task and the task is overwhelming like when I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-ups and I was talking about breaking this record people are like oh my god I went right to a pen and paper like, what are you doing I'm doing the math man what are you talking about I'm open-minded to the fact that okay if I do five pull-ups in a minute for so many hours I can get so many pull-ups in how much time do I have to rest I was breaking the math down you have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. So that's why my, my eyes and my body light up about things. Because I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul of whatever the fuck is in front of you. That's what I realized. I was never breaking the soul of anything in front of me. So that's why I came up with the thing called taking souls in my book. I started to devise ways to break a soul of a human being, of, a, of an object, of, of, of whatever's in front of me. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless.